a do not drink water advisory is in effect for the Shaw neighborhood after people complained of a petroleum like smell. Crews spent the night flushing those pipes. Brianne Carter is live in Northwest uh, Washington to, to tell us more. This is now really being expanded. This is a big story. Brianne, you're here to tell us this morning about some school closures as a result of the smell of petroleum, correct? Yeah, Kai, within the last five minutes, we have learned that a number of schools affected as a result of this. Now, we do understand Cleveland, Garrison, and Seton Elementary schools will be closed to students and staff today as a result of this. We also understand that students and staff from Duke Ellington High School will report only to the Meyer campus today, as the Garnet Patterson campus is also impacted by these ongoing water issues. Take a live look here back outside, though. You can see here along 8th and S Streets, we do have this mobile command center here and DC water crews that are out here. They continue to search for a source of what is causing this petroleum smell in the water. Now, residents in this area first described smelling it early Wednesday morning and reporting it here to the utility. DC Water has been working with the Department of Environment, and also we understand they took samples of the water and have sent it to Fort Meade now to try and get a read on exactly what is causing all of this. Meanwhile, residents waking up in this section of the Shaw and Logan Circle neighborhoods here in Northwest are advised not to drink the water, not to use it to brush their teeth or to cook their breakfast or to use it in any, any of your coffee or other drinks this morning. They do say as well, you should not bathe in this water for concern of any irritation that it may cause. The search for the source of what is causing this petroleum smell continues. Reporting live, Brianne Carter, ABC 7 News.